Junior Watson, I be on my re, re. Junior Watson, I be on my re, re. Tell him this, did he miss? Junior Watson, I be on my mm. I can't really see where did I miss? Mm. Mm. X strippers, mm. Mm. new killers. Mm. Mm. Shot, tell him mm. Mm. this on Donda. because I have not been consistent on YouTube. I see all the comments and y'all's DMs and everything and I just wanna say I'm so sorry for not posting as consistently. Literally one of my New Year's resolutions was to post consistently and I haven't been doing that but it's because I have a lot going on. I'm back at school now as you guys can see. I was in Atlanta for like two months. Um, we didn't know if we were coming back so we came back the fourth week of the quarter and now it's about to be the fifth week so I've been here for one week and it's just been really hard to like film with everything going on. I'm starting new businesses. Y'all know I have a styling business coming up. If you don't know I haven't really announced it or talked about it on YouTube just yet but I announced it on Instagram and it'll be launching sometime in March so if you guys want to follow it's at fits everyone. I'll put the at on the screen somewhere um so that's kind of kind of been time has been getting away from me because i've been working on all these businesses i've been more active on tiktok and reels so if you guys don't follow me on instagram or tiktok you should because i post on there way more often than i do on youtube but i'm gonna try to post at least once or twice a week on youtube starting whenever y'all are seeing this video i have a lot of videos planned so hopefully i will actually do them because i don't know i've just been not filming even though i have so much stuff i could be filming i could literally vlog so many days in my life that were super fun that i kind of wish i got on camera but kind of just wanted to you know just not have to worry about filming for a little bit so i did take a break but i am back um last week's video was it was a video but it was like barely a video it was only like 15 minutes it was sponsored so it was kind of just me putting something out there but i want to do more videos that i am proud of so stay tuned hey you're fine you're not in it i was just doing an intro before you got here oh. um but in today's video i'm going to be vlogging so hopefully i can be more consistent in everything so today i'm back at school it's going to be a day in my life i'm not really going to be on campus me and my roommate malaysia are about to go to brunch and then i have a zip car later to go to the mall and stuff so i didn't know that i was gonna tell you it but <laughs> So I was just laying out outfits, but I, y'all, I literally don't have anything to wear. Like it really makes me so sad because I didn't bring any of the stuff. Cause I was like, I'm only gonna be here for like four weeks, da, 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 da. But I kind of really want to put some fits on. And I've been making reels with outfits. And so I kind of feel weird re-wearing those even though I haven't taken pictures in them, but I don't know. I'm gonna figure it out. I really don't have anything to wear. So I'm kind of sad, but I might get some stuff at the mall or maybe go to the thrift store at some point. So we shall see. We're about to go to brunch. I will take y'all with me. But yeah, I will take y'all with us. I'm just gonna wear the skim set for now and just be comfy, so let's go. you go 
This is a very interesting stylistic choice. Extremely interesting. Oh, I love this song. You want some bacon? <laughs> no, that don't even look good. I know, it looks like underdone. Okay, let's figure out if we're gonna go to that mall. It's 30 minutes away, I have to depart for three hours. So it'll be an hour of transportation. And two hours of shopping? That's more than enough. Unless we're trying to go crazy, yeah. which I kinda am, but it's okay. I'll be there to hold your bag. <laughs> The bad part is I had to get one that's 12 minutes away. A 12 minute walk away. Oh, <laughs> where is it? I don't even know. Damn. y'all i finally made it to the car i just walked around for 30 minutes looking for it because first of all i've never been over here before this is where all the row houses are and i literally never come over here it's like the frat houses and sororities and stuff so i had no clue what i was doing i was walking around so lost and then the car wasn't here until literally just now so i was in the right place they just hadn't returned it yet so they were kind of late we're like 15 minutes late but i want to say where the key at but I found it. Malaysia's not coming with me. She was going to, but she went to sleep and then did not want to get up. And I don't blame her. So this is a solo date today. I'm going to go to the thrift store. I'm going to go to the mall. I'm going to get some food. I might go to the movies because I had this car until 9 o'clock. I was not playing today. Like, I need to get off campus. For the sake of my mental health out here, I really don't talk about it that much. But I really just don't really like it out here. It's not because of the school or anything. It's just because I don't like, like... I don't know, being away from my family and stuff. So, school's fine. This is not me saying like I hate the school or anything. Love Stanford. I just wish this was Atlanta, basically. But I'm about to go ahead and just do my Bluetooth. Y'all know how I do. So we can get to popping. The mall that I want to go to is like 30 minutes away. So that's not a fun drive by myself, but I'm still gonna do it because that's where I want to go. Oh, have I been in this car before? First things first, we're gonna head to, I think a thrift store. I'll probably hit a few thrift stores and then go to the mall and then like go eat and maybe go to the movies cause I have six hours to like do whatever. So I'm gonna see what thrift stores are around here. I've never been thrifting out here. So we're gonna see. camera died and so now i have to film my phone but honestly i was really about to give up on the video hopefully i will keep on recording because i'm kind of mad that the camera died because i had fully charged it and i hadn't used it that much 
which I thought, but oh well, we're now at the mall. I think it's called Westfield Valley Fair Mall. It looks really busy and really packed, so we're gonna see how things go once I'm in there. But I just wanted to do a little bit of shopping, just gonna walk around, have fun. Got my hat, my AirPods in since I'm by myself today, so it should be a good time. Hopefully, I'll get some cute stuff. I just really want to go shopping, y'all. I don't know what it is. Up and down and on the spot. Envious frown. Let's feel a lot of love. I've never bought so much at a mall in my life. If y'all are in San Jose, California or Santa Clara, California or Palo Alto, baby, Westfield Valley Fair Mall is the best mall I've ever been to. Like I'm not even trying to be dramatic. Like that junk is literally had everything. I'm talking about literally stores I've never even heard of in my life. I have so much stuff and I wanted to do more but I physically couldn't hold any more stuff. So we'll come back another day, hopefully with a friend because there's a bunch of places I wanna take pictures and I wanna try a bunch of the food spots. And there were some stores that I didn't get to go to that i really wanted to go to because they have like those hype beast vintage stores but they're like actually good prices i bought it at one but there were like three more that i didn't stop at so we have to come back but i'm so out of breath Whew. that was about three hours um i got here around four and now it's like seven so i think i'm about to find something to eat i have to return the car at nine and it takes 30 minutes to get home so i think i'll head that way and then see like what's on the way there for food but i'm hella hungry hella thirsty let me drink some water because i think i've only had one bottle today but let me just tell y'all we're gonna do a haul later when my when my camera's charged because when i say i just went stupid y'all don't understand <sighs> okay let's go get food <laughs> This is what we do, two 21 year olds on a Saturday night. We just ate that food and then we came here and then I'm gonna do a haul for you guys and Malaysia. Yay! I don't know why it's Oh no! Coming. It's the tripod! It's stuck! It's stuck! It's literally not going anywhere. Come on, go, come on! It's literally stuck there. Like, I don't think any piece of clothing is gonna hit that. Sorry. Sorry, kid. <laughs> I just was done. Our on call for tonight is having pizza. So we're about to go steal some for tomorrow. <laughs> Why is it so cold? I just closed. <laughs> 
Never that serious. Open the door, Peace please. Her. All right, y'all. Big haul. I'm back on my camera, by the way. So let's just start off with some easy things. I'll start off, I'll go in order actually, because this mall was so nice. I know I said it in the car, but I wanted to say again, this is a very nice mall. Maybe I'm just not used to it because Atlanta doesn't really have good malls. So I think I'm just not used to good malls, but this one was really good. I went to Sephora. I literally knew I had to go to Sephora. Sephora was the whole reason I was gonna go to the mall in the week this weekend in the first place because I wanted to get a few things. So I got a bunch of Fenty lip glosses. I got three fussy ones and one sweet mouth for a little highlight because sweet mouth is a little lighter these are my favorite lip glosses anything anytime y'all see like lip gloss on me it's probably a fancy gloss because it's not sticky and i like not sticky lip gloss and then i picked up some concealer from malaysia and this is a last minute purchase i wish i just went to like Yeah, awesome. no, you're good. This is a last minute purchase. Little beauty blenders in line because I meant to pick up like a cheaper pack, but it was a little too late. Here's your concealer, by the way. So that's what I got from Sephora. I was in and out of there. I don't even think I filmed in there because it's always so busy and so embarrassing. And then I also went to Hollister because there was one thing that I wanted and I figured they would have it in the store because I think this is Charlie and Dixie's like line. But I just thought it was so cute. It's like a little cropped, cropped little thing. And I think this would be really cute to layer with. Um, what is this called technically? A little vest? It's like a hooded vest and it's just thin and it's just cream color and I thought it was very cute. So that was the only thing I got from Hollister. I don't really, I mean I do shop at Hollister but not like a ton. So, but they have pretty cute stuff. That wasn't true. The first store I went to was called Uniqlo. It's like a Japanese store and they have really nice basics and stuff. And their store was so huge. Y'all saw like all the like stuff that I showed. It had like puffers and just like, they had like some skims dupes. It's probably not a skims dupe. Skim probably copied them, but I thought this was a different color. <laughs> it looks greener now, but it's kind of like a sage green little vest. I want to wear it like cropped up So I might try to like tuck it or something, but this is super cute. It's really lightweight I got everything pretty small like I've ordered like extra small stuff just because I want stuff to fit like smaller now So I can like layer it. I don't know if that makes sense But that was the vibe and then I got two of these long sleeve fitted shirts I got one in like this dark greenish bluish color and one in this grayish color And I think those would be cute. I don't know. I got them extra small So we'll see how they fit. But those are the three things that I got from Unique Glow and that store was really cool because they had a little self checkout area it, it wasn't even like a scanning thing like you would just go stand by it and it would like scan your items somehow I don't really know how but it was very cool and I checked out in like three seconds I was trying to show y'all but it really wasn't much to show and then I went to Gap. I got two pairs of sweatpants because I just thought they looked really cozy and oversized. So I, this is an extra small. And y'all know I like my stuff large. Like I was trying to get a large and large literally looked like huge. It was like a 4XL. I don't know the way they did it, but this is an oversized extra small. And y'all know I usually wear like a medium large. So I got this color. I got a lot of this color stuff. Wait a minute. Never mind. I think this is it right here. I was about to say, I forgot something. You're going through, right? I thought I forgot something. I like a lot of green, like sagey color things, so I got a lot of that. But I got this pair, and I also got a pair in black. And I got them both in an extra small because when I tell y'all these look huge, like, don't these look big? Don't these look big? This is an extra small. What? That's what I'm saying. Dang. Literally XS. I don't know. But they're huge. Uh, they'll probably still be baggy on me. So, I don't know. I was going to say I'll link it down below. But I literally don't have the link. I could try to find a link to the stuff. But no promises there. So that's the stuff that I got from Gap. And then I went to the store owned by somebody who said she was a subscriber. It's called Ivory Rose Collection. And they have an online store. www.ivoryrosecollection.com She was so sweet. I took a picture with her. But I basically just got this one little two-piece set. Her store was really cute. And I decided to get this. It's like a gray set so here's the top and then it comes with a matching skirt set which is so cute i don't know what i'm gonna wear it with because i really don't have like gray shoes or anything to go with this but i'm gonna try to figure something out i feel like it would be cute with like a long jacket and maybe some boots or something so very cute and shout out to ivory rose collection because they had a bunch of cute things so we all go check them out at the westfield valley fair mall then this is where I spent a lot. I went to Cotton On. And I've never heard of this store before, but it was like a lot of good quality basics and a lot of just really cute stuff. I basically got pressured into buying this because I bought so much stuff that it was 50% off. And I'm like, I can always use a little cosmetics bag. So I just bought this. I think it was like $6 by the time I paid for it. But I got this big jacket. I've been wanting like an oversized jacket I can wear with dresses and stuff and boots. So I got this big black jacket. It's like fleece lined, I think. 
And I got it in a size large, but I just thought it was really cute. It's kind of like a denim looking material on the outside, but it's not actually real denim, I don't think. And then it has a corduroy collar. So I just thought that was really cute. And then I got a bunch of like basic shirts. This is what I was so excited about because I was looking for shirts. Like when I went shopping, I was making sure to keep an eye out for a lot of shirts because I've been layering a lot and haven't had like shirts to layer with. So they had a sale for like, it was like two for 30. And then these were like 24. So got a white one, simple, cute. You always need white shirts. I got another like green one. That one's cute. And they're ribbed by the way. Really nice quality. And then this was the two for 30 sale. I got this brown little tank. Y'all can't really see the color because it's dark right now. But brown tank. And I got this black ribbed shirt. So cute. And then I also got this dress that I thought was super cute. It's just like a simple black ribbed dress. And I think this would be cute layered with some tights. A nice sweater on top and some boots and I think it would be a really cute outfit so we're gonna style this stuff sooner or later I don't know when probably like next weekend by the time I go out again but that's everything that I got from cotton on I was so excited y'all I was just in a shopping mood today so that's why I spent so much money then I went to this one store I really don't know the name but it was like a streetwear store and they had a lot of sneakers and they had a lot of like vintage items and usually when you go in stores like that you think it's gonna be like hella expensive because they usually are hella expensive but this one actually had like affordable things not affordable but it was like lower than I thought it was gonna be because these jackets were like $40 and I thought they would be way more expensive I don't know why but I got this little crop jean jacket look how cute this is I didn't try anything on by the way hopefully this stuff fits but I mean this is a large so it should definitely fit so this is the first thing that I got from there. It's a crop jean jacket with like tan detailing. This <laughs> is so cute. Let me try it on. Yo. Cute. This is very cute. There were a lot of things in there y'all but I was just like so overwhelmed by this point. This is one of the last stores I went to. After this I had went to Urban Outfitters and Forever 21 but neither of them had anything. But there were other stores like this that I really wanted to go to. Then I got this polo sweatshirt. It's gray, has a little polo, little thing. I think I'm gonna crop it cause it's like big and oversized, but I think it would be cute cropped. But I also wanna like hem it cause I don't want it to be like that ugly like cut crop. So I think I have to figure that out. I know how to do it. I just don't be sewing like that. So I don't know if I'll ever do it, but I have a vision with it cropped. So one day, or I'll just like fold it up. Like I usually do all my stuff. Sometimes you want it cropped and sometimes you don't. So a good way around that is to just fold it when you're gonna wear it. Okay, and this next piece, I really didn't know if I wanted to get it because I was like you know what this is not even that cute but it's like a varsity jacket a gray varsity jacket and I don't know I just thought it was really cute I've never tried it on and I really don't even know if it'll fit it looks like a large but it would be cute with like a skirt or a dress I think since it's so oversized and then I like the green like distressed sleeves on it too so that's how it looks on <laughs> It looks like so big and ugly, but I have a vision for it and I think it'll turn out cute. This stuff was all $40, I think. So it turned out to be like $130 was my total for three nice jackets. So I was not tripping and that store is very nice. I definitely want to go back there because I, I have a lot more stuff that I wanted to get, but I just couldn't carry that much. So that is everything that I got from Westfield Valley Fair Mall. I don't know how much I spent exactly. I was just doing Apple Pay the whole time. Luckily, everybody took Apple Pay. Like I didn't take out my card not one time. So that was really helpful. But that is pretty much everything. That was my haul. Y'all will see me style it on future videos and on TikTok. So make sure y'all follow me on there. But that is pretty much it for tonight. We're about to just watch some Netflix and do some work. So I will see y'all.